So continue to feed Bronda cattle because they've always given us a good opportunity for high quality grading cattle. Cattle that will return a premium when sold on the grid. And that's the name of the game. Bronvies are absolutely awesome mamas. They're good carcass cattle, but they are really, really, really maternal cows. They're just, they give lots of milk. They take good care of their babies, wean big old calves. They're just, they fit the bill. They've worked real well for us. Uh, come auction time, they sell just as well as, as our black cattle do. Welcome to the American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. This week our show features Bronby, and we're going to see these cattle at work in commercial settings across the country. Bronby are a remarkably versatile breed, and they're hardy with a proven ability to deliver both maternal and carcass traits. On today's program, we're going to focus on the bull power asset that has always marked these exceptional cattle. Bronby bulls impact commercial programs in a number of positive ways. They have a track record of feeding efficiently while both grading and yielding well at finish. And stockmen that know these cattle through the beef production cycle will visit with us and tell us their thoughts on this breed. We've got a great show for you today. We're glad you joined us. Stay tuned. We'll be back with our Bronby story. As one of the oldest purebred cattle breeds in the world, Bronby provides superior genetics to Texas cow herds. The Texas Bronby Association strives to increase awareness about this high quality breed and to provide numerous opportunities for junior Bronby breeders. With the support of the association, Texas junior exhibitors travel across the United States. To learn more about the Texas Bronby Association or to contact a breed representative, visit our website at texasbronby.com. Buy Bronby Bulls in the Best of the Test Bull Sale Friday, March 13th in Navasota, Texas. Blue Bonnet Bronby and Brink Livestock have six bulls in the sale and also have semen available on Undaunted, Flagstaff, Black Cloud, and more. These are Bronby sires that work. Call Blue Bonnet at 903-641-1594 to order Undaunted or Black Cloud semen. See the Brink Herd Sires and the Bull Sale Catalog at BrinkBronby.com. Blue Bonnet and Brink Bulls just might work for you. Mystic Hill Farm serves cattlemen nationwide from scenic Virginia with the best in problem-free Angus and Bronby genetics. David and Charlotte Caldwell and Tommy Clark invite you to the Mystic Hill Bull and Female Auction this April at the Culpeper Agricultural Enterprise, offering features 50 stout bulls and more than 100 choice females ready to go to work for you. Mystic Hill Farm, superior cattle for today's beef industry needs. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Bronby cattle have been recognized for a number of positive traits, including docility, efficiency, and longevity. In herds across the country, they are also proven to bring both maternal quality and carcass punch in the same package. On today's show, our focus will be on the power of the Bronby bull and what he delivers to commercial ranchers from the pasture to the feed yard and onto the rail. Introducing performance tested Bronby bulls to your commercial cow herd takes a lot of the guesswork out of your bull buying decisions. The history of added value brought by using Bronby bulls just makes the decision to buy Bronby bulls that much easier. North of Frederick, Oklahoma, Mitchell Farms has a commercial cow calf operation consisting of black baldy and red Angus cow herds with Bronby sired calves at side. Jerry and Brian Mitchell do like what Bronby has brought to their program. 
We've got our red Angus cows and we've also got black baldy cows. And we've been uh, using Bromvy bulls on them for the last five to six years. And uh, we've used some uh, homozygous uh, black Bromvy bulls on our black ball face cows this year. We put our bulls in at a time where that we start calving around the 1st of February. And, and we start pulling our bulls when uh, 60 to 70 days. Seem like our birth weights will run around, on an average, around 80 pounds. Our calves are really big bone type calves, feed efficiency, and they really convert well. We really like them. When they're born, they look like a little jackrabbit. Uh, maybe not too impressive, but they quickly grow out of it. And then you start to see the muscle formation. Once we get those calves into our feeding pens, really have to watch them. Before you know it, you're, you're feeding over 3% of their body weight in feed. And uh, of course, they, they do outperform our other calves that we, uh, uh, we have grown here and uh, the calves we've, uh, we've bought. Time and again, Bronvi influence introduced to English and English cross cow herds have brought lasting value. The feeder calves perform quite well in the yard and the retained heifers are documented to have exceptional longevity and production. Pretty docile, and they transfer that to their calves too. Their, their cattle, is, uh, their calves are, are easy going, easy handling. Those bulls almost act like sometimes they're a little lazy, but they, they do their job. Superior rep that we use, uh, he found those bulls for us in Nebraska. What I like about the Bromby cattle, it's just their attitude and their conversion rate and the, the way they handle. What really got me was when you, you, know, you went to get them off of the cattle when it's time to pull them, there was no problem, there was no fight and any big deal, you just pull them. And when, when you turn them back when it's time to put them back on the, on the cows, the, uh, they would, went right to work. I mean, you know, there wasn't any walking around, you know, bowed up, anything. I mean, they just started doing what they were supposed to do. Mitchell Farms markets their calves over superior livestock through Bud Willis. The cattle work well and are readily received come auction time. They're easy to market. And I'll call the feed yard guys and a lot of times prior to the sale, you know, let them know that they're only going to be on that particular sale. I've had uh, one buyer that bought them uh, three years in a row, every one of them. In fact, one year I had uh, 10 loads of them on Denver and the man took all 10 loads. They're docile and they're carcass cattle. You know, that's, that's the easiest way to explain them. They're gonna sell. They was from 10 to, to 11 months of age and they was weighing 887 on the steers and the heifers weighed 790. They've worked real well for us. Um, come auction time, they sell just as well as, as our black cattle do. Bronvi are a moderate framed, highly adaptable breed, known for possessing and defying the antagonistic traits of marbling and muscle, and also maternal and carcass. They are also at the forefront of recognized feed efficient breeds. They transfer that feeding efficiency and that's, that's dollars in our pocket. And so that's, that's probably the, uh, that growth and that bone, that's the number one thing that, that we we, uh, we like uh, these Bromby cattle. Uh, if you're not having to go out every three years and buy another bull or four years, and you still have a very sound bull that's lasting five, six, seven years, you're saving money. The Bromby bulls are producing a very feed efficient, docile type of calf, and that's going to uh, grade very well. The cattle have made us money and, and, and have done really well for us. And that's the thing that with the Bronby cattle that impressed me is the carcass traits. But we've got the maternal traits there, the good mothers, the breed back, the tremendous udders, the teats on cows, you know, heifers, you give them out that are, are little and they're just a phenomenal mama. Fred Schroeder of Shelton, Nebraska has fed Bronby for some 10 years. He has grown to like the ability of Bronby cattle to achieve choice quality grade without losing yield grade. The uh, marketing window on the Bronby breed, of course, is uh, quite a bit wider since their yield grade does remain low. Their back fat measures less and it really gives you more flexibility in finding that optimal marketing date. 
the Broadway cattle, we will own all the way from their calf weights, 500 to 600 pounds. We need cattle that are going to achieve some frame and at the same time not become too fat. Having the cattle grid well at the end of that period is foremost. So they need to be efficient all the way through and we've found the Bronve to be able to do that. The buyers do recognize the quality of the cattle. They fit what they need in the plant. Bronve and Bronve cross cattle can be harvested at an efficient endpoint and reach an acceptable quality grade before carcasses get too big. This eliminates those later costly days on feed. The Bronve cattle typically will achieve a higher quality grade while maintaining a lower yield grade. Both of those things give us premium. When you're selling on a grid, you need to have both of those things working in your favor to be able to get the value of that critter as high as possible. And the Bronve breed does that for us. Many producers buy Bronve bulls with retained ownership in mind to capitalize on Bronve added feed efficiency and harvest value. From my perspective as a feedlot operator, I would like to be able to find more Bronve cattle. A lot of those producers know the value of their cattle and so therefore uh, they take them to finish. If they don't have a feedlot, they may find one. So there's less supply available for those of us who have to buy calves. Bronve breeders know they have bulls that bring the power that commercial cattlemen need today from the pasture to the yard and on to harvest. The cattle marble without increasing external fat. They are efficient and are sought by feed yards who know their capabilities. I'll continue to feed Bronve cattle because they've always given us a good opportunity for high quality grading cattle cattle that will return a premium when sold on the grid. And that's the name of the game. At all points in the beef production cycle, Bronby have established themselves as performers. When we come back, we'll have more on our story. You're watching The American Rancher. Stay with us. The foundation of the Diamond H Ranch breeding program is strict culling of cows from maternal traits, including fertility and percentage of body weight wing. And while we breed to the breed's top bull through AI, no bull has advanced our genetics more than our own herd sire, Ranger 11R. Our mission is to create genetics that help commercial operators be more profitable through the selling of performance tested bulls and functional females. Please visit our website to see our current bull and female offerings. Diamond H Ranch, invest in your program by investing in ours. From marketing 50,000 head of cattle last year to marketing over 100,000 head this year, it's amazing to see how far the country page has come in the past two years. It's been a great tool for both buyers and sellers. Mitch and I really take pride in the relationships that we built with our reps, consigners, and buyers. We're available 24-7 taking calls to market cattle and get the best possible price. We would love to market your cattle on the country page. Give a superior livestock representative a call today. Missouri Bronby breeders will host their 25th annual Midwest Bronby sale on Saturday, May 16th in Springfield, Missouri. If you're looking for Bronby seed stock or for Bronby influence, cows or bulls for your commercial herd, you'll want to attend. This is the longest running Bronby sale in the country and will include open heifers, bred cows, cow-calf pairs, and bulls. For more information, check out MissouriBronby.org or the Bronby Association of America website. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Bronby bulls are making a name for themselves in American ranching as an efficient breed through residual feed intake testing. Over the past few years, Bronby breeders from across the country have sent groups of young bulls to the Genetic Development Center in Navasota, Texas to test, measure, document, and identify some of the best calves in the breed. Here's more on our story. Oh, 
The Genetic Development Center recently wrapped up testing on a group of some 40 yearling Bronby bulls from a number of breeders. I tell you, the number one thing that comes to mind when, when I think of a Bromby bull today, when I think of these Bromby bulls that are, that are behind me now, is one word, and that's power. Get them out, getting them walking in the pen, you can see the muscling and the power in those bulls, but it's in a compact package. The breed has done a good job of moderating the size of these bulls to when they're mature, they're not going to be too big for your cattle, but they do bring power to the equation. So, if I'm sitting down with a commercial cattleman that's thinking about using Bromby bulls, they can get a Bromby bull of pretty much a traditional color. They can get a homozygous black bull that will always throw black calves. They can get a bull that will throw a moderate birth weight. When that calf hits the ground, it's going to grow very, very fast and ultimately end up looking like the cattle that are behind me right now. So they bring power to the equation, which I think is a detriment um, to some of the other breeds that haven't been able to, to really focus on that like they should, but these cattle have. I know that there's a lot of us that are, are doing everything we can to raise the best cattle we can. I'll say this, we've got a great piece of raw material. And you know, the Bronby breed is a great breed. I have a lot more difficult time getting that first time buyer, but the repeat customer is pretty easy to come by because these cattle do everything that you hear about and that we're saying they'll do. Proof's in the pudding. And uh, here a few years ago, I got to looking at the Bronby deal. So I went and bought me a couple of quarter blood Bromvay bulls trying to introduce a little Bromvay genetics into my calves. And uh, I liked it real good. Been getting back anywhere from 40 to $80 a head premium on them calves. Franz Betchler is a commercial cattle producer who backgrounds and feeds cattle outside Ashland, Kansas. Over the past few years, Franz has developed a commercial cow herd of Bronvi and Bronvi cross females, which he breeds to Gardner Angus bulls. The calves, as you might expect, are quite good. You know, there, there's so many good cattle in the country anymore that, that, that you can do a lot of things with a lot of different breeds. Um, and, you know, the conversions have been good on these cattle, uh, everything. We, we just can't can't fault them really in, in any way. Um, I took the figures uh, here recently on on the Bronvay cows and we've got another set of cows that's uh, some black continental cows um, and 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 it's a pretty good test I believe because it's these cow it's, it's those black cows and their daughters and their daughters are different percentages of Angus but uh, those, it's a pretty tight group of cows. All, it, it's a set of cows with all their daughters. Um, I compared them to the, to the Bronvay uh, cows calves and um, just bottom line carcass value, uh, the, uh, the, heifer, the heifers on the Bronvay cows brought back over $100 more than the, than the black cows did. Bob and Marilyn Brink raised registered Bronby cattle in the Kansas Flint Hills near Piedmont. Genuine maternal quality in the pasture, as well as consistently measurable feed yard performance in terms of yield and grade, are facts about the breed. The things that we really liked about them were the maternal characteristics, um, udder quality, fertility, the longevity of the cow, uh, the way they can just go out and have a calf. That calf is right up and nursing. Um, survivability of the baby calves is just phenomenal. So uh, that's, that's the thing we like is they take care of those calves. We don't have to. Marilyn Brink serves on the Bronvie Association of America board and knows the cattle have what commercial cattlemen need today from raising them herself. Marilyn says interest in Bronvie forms once people get informed about them. The Bronvie cattle are a truly economically viable breed. And that's why we have them. That's what we can promote to our customers. You don't need a specialty market for them. Um, there's lots of feedlots who are searching out Bronby calves. The Bronby cattle have the ability to increase marbling without increasing external fat. And that's so important when you look at price of grain, price of land, all of your prices of input. Dr. Harold Garner has built an accomplished career as a veterinarian and professor of veterinary medicine, as well as numerous research and successful development endeavors related to vaccines and antiserum. Dr. Garner is also a livestock producer who knows and has owned Bromby-influenced cattle. 
The first ones bought about two truckloads out of Missouri, okay. and, and they did well. They, they were Angus Cross, and uh, we buy some in October and then on through to March or April. Yes, and probably average about, you know, 100 days or more. And uh, we try to get a gain on about 250 to 300 pounds, and they stay right in there. From the calf standpoint, of buying them, you know, to background them for yearlings and going to feed yard, they grow well, they have good bone and substance, and uh, what else can you say about cattle? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Brink uh, wants to sell me some more calves while I'm in the market. In Texas, John and Loretta Hall are beef producers who recognized the value of Bronby years ago and have been advocates of them ever since. Bronby cattle, these heifers, a lot of the cattle that we've developed over 20, 25 years has is, is, is made our goals and our targets easier. We definitely are a carcass breed. We're definitely an efficient feeder breed. There's no doubt about it that we can feed efficiently as good as anybody out there. What is amazing about these cattle is they can do that and they can still be so maternal, so fertile. Because we run a ranch and, and we have to make our living off of this ranch and we have to make our living out of these cows. They've got to do what we say they'll do. John Hall is a longtime commercial and registered beef producer from the ranch country about Headley, Texas. John and his wife Loretta have introduced many cattlemen to Bronvi, as well as raised their own in both commercial and registered ventures. Bronvies are absolutely awesome mamas. They're good carcass cattle, but they are really, really, really maternal cows. They're just, they give lots of milk, they take good care of their babies, wean big old calves. They're just, they fit the bill. We expect our cows to calve in a 45-day calving period, and we've done that about nine years in a row. They're fertile. We don't have a lot of trouble getting them bred the first time. Don't have a lot of trouble getting them bred the second, for the second calf, and that's the hardest calf to get, the second one. All of our cows are in country that look like this, big open country, brushy. They have to work out here or they don't work at all. Bromby cattle are docile. We demand it in our herd, we demand it in our program, and it's been an easy to pick the cattle that have worked for us in our program that are easy to handle. We can work them a horseback, we can work them with dogs, we can work them with foot, we can suck them around with a cake wagon. They'll roam in big pastures, they'll work in little paddocks. They're very adaptable cattle. The Bronvi Udder is a model for the beef producing cow, and the milk flow keeps calves growing. With their ruggedness and typical docile disposition, Bronvi adapt well to tropical areas, grasslands, and high altitude ranges. The natural dark pigmentation around the eyes makes pink eye unlikely. The Hill family has a tremendous cow herd that ranges out on rough open country where they have to make a living under often difficult conditions. Todd says that Bronby make the most sense when you consider the whole picture. The, these Bronby cattle have done a terrific job adapting to these harsh conditions. We're pretty hard on culling these cattle. And if, if they don't put a live calf on the ground every 365 days, if they don't wean a calf that's half of their body weight, we, we're gonna get rid of them. So to make it 10 years and make it the last four years and what you see around here says a whole lot, not only about that cow, but I think the breed in general. Bronby bulls bring power to commercial beef operations. They are hardy and robust breeders that are proven for efficiency, soundness, and docility. The Bronby Association of America invites you to find out what Bronby can do for you. Under the Membership Service tab at Bronby.org, you'll find breeders from all across America that are willing to help you get started. Put some Bronby bull power in your herd. You'll like it all the way through. We'd like to thank all of our guests for a great show. The Bronby Association of America is a quality group that's developing a very commercially and economically viable breed that's delivering both bull power and carcass punch in a stout package for today's rancher. For more information, log on to bronvi.org. 
That's all the time we have today. To find out more about us, check out our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Pam Minnick. For our entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.